So the software I've been developing just got a major update today. I'm gonna go over my experience creating this update. This is gonna be pretty valuable if you plan on creating software or you wanna learn more about artificial intelligence in the context of a software business. Let's just jump into it. If you're new to my channel or you have no clue what I'm talking about right now, a big thing or a big passion of mine that I've been working on for the past probably four or five months now is I'm creating my own software. And this software is specifically for YouTube users and actually just in general, anyone that wants to optimize and enhance their video content. The name of the software is tubestamp.com. So I made a huge update today and I pushed it towards the production branch. I've been working on this update. There's a pretty big user interface update. So in this video, I'm gonna go over like the actual experience of creating this update, why I did what I did here. On top of that, this type of video is part of my software playlist. So this playlist is basically, I built this entire software you're about to see right now from complete scratch. When I say scratch, I mean scratch. I wrote the first line of code all the way to the last line of code and I'm updating it every single day. This is kind of like, if you're familiar with my ecosystem videos or if you're familiar with my content, when I talk about basically what I do in the second half of the day is this is where I push my creativity towards as there's a lot of stuff I wanna do this platform and I'm just sharing my entire journey with it. So this playlist is called like from scratch to software. You can check it out at the end here. It has a bunch of valuable stuff if you ever wanna do something like this. But let's go jump in. Also, yes, this is two uploads in one day. I wanted to make this video real quick as this is just really cool what I've done for the platform. I also put up polls on my YouTube. So look out for those. I'm just getting your input and your feedback when it comes to different stuff I do for the platform. For example, this one was like a llama thing. As we know, for every good SaaS platform, if you don't have a profile image, let's go ahead and give you like a, you know, a filler image, right? So like Google or YouTube sometimes does like little art pieces or whatever. I wanted to do llamas, so we're doing llamas. So basically, if you sign up and you create a tube stamp profile and you don't have an image in your URL, you can go ahead and get a llama instead. Let's just jump in. Okay. First off, I went ahead and updated the UI of the homepage. If you're familiar with this channel or you've seen the version one of this software, you're probably like, okay, I like these icons better and I kind of like the structuring better. So first off, update the homepage, more sleek, more clean, jump in. Let's go to sign in real quick. Okay, so we're logging in here, boom. First major update here and I plan on implementing this. So right off the bat in version one, I had it very much creator base. Don't worry, we still have a whole tab dedicated to creators. Let me go and zoom in. We have a whole tab dedicated to creators, but I needed to also separate it as a lot of demand, a lot of input that I received was that if I'm not a creator, I still wanna leverage this software. Y'all, this software isn't just gonna be timestamps. I plan on doing a ton of stuff when it comes to purely processing videos and a ton of different types of outputs in that context. And the reason that sounds so ambiguous and I didn't speak too direct is because of the fact that I probably have competition. So I don't wanna reveal all of my cards on the table of what I plan on any of this software, but trust me, there's a, lot, a, a ton coming. And one of the first major features that I knew I needed to add was the ability for you to basically leverage this software with the more additions I plan on adding to the software if you don't have a YouTube channel, a Rumble channel, and stuff of this nature. That being said, this is coming. Pretty cool. Second thing. I went ahead and identified the creator page as its own separate page because of the fact that there will be two different types of customers, right? You have the customer that uses this as an editor and maybe doesn't have authentication of an underlying YouTuber channel or just alternatively, they wanna leverage other value points the software will provide in the future. That being said though, I have a whole page dedicated to creators like you and me if you do YouTube. So this is amazing as you'll be able to connect your YouTube channel and get a bunch of perks from this such as auto timestamps, auto translate and more to come. That being said, you can also notice I've changed the icon to a nice little pencil rather than just saying the word timestamp. First thing I've learned, when it comes to user interface and how to actually design user interface, simpler the better. The more sleek it is, the better it is. Therefore, I've gone for more simplistic UI in the coming development phase, in the coming updates. Next thing I updated, I went ahead and switched this from the YouTube icon to a time icon due to the fact that not necessarily a pivot, but we are expanding horizons here. Now we're just basically the, the monetization is the time associated with processing a video, whatever the context may be, whether that be from Google Drive, YouTube, whatever it may be, now it's just time as a commodity rather than just being associated with YouTube duration, if that kind of makes sense. Coming over to settings and beta, this is huge. So one thing that I've been saying on my Twitter and one thing I've been saying in the development of this platform is you wanna think long-term Therefore, you want to set up user interfaces that you know you can add more features to easily. So in this context, I went ahead and just revamped the entire brand template and just, just basically ripped it apart 
and said, no, no, we're doing settings now. So first super cool thing is obviously we have our profile image, we got the email associated of our account, and then we got the underlying plan that we're handling with right now, and we can manage it by clicking that. Also, really cool story in business. Tom Ford, I think his name was Tom Ford, the guy that created Ford Motors, was one of the first people to create cars that came in different colors. Till that point, every car was basically black, I believe. And he added differentiation in the market by providing different colors, therefore got a huge amount of demand, and a lot of, a lot of people started buying from him. That being said, you might be saying, why the heck did you bring that up, Corbin? Because what I realized, and I also said this on my Twitter, if I can scroll down here, new capabilities are a simple bullying away. Bullying in this context is true or false, yes or no. Sometimes you just gotta give, honestly, bullying wasn't even a good example there. I think that, that kind of applied more to what I'm about to show you right here. But in this context, it's just kind of like, the ability for a user to upload a profile image may not sound like a huge value point, but having the ability for a user to personalize their profile is a value point. It gives, it makes it so that it's more personable. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually upload my image here because this is my YouTube account. So bye bye llama, hello Corbin. There we go. And I have my new image associated with my TubeStamp account. We're good to go. We're gonna be able to leverage that a lot more in future updates. But for now, we've given the user the ability to upload their own image. Pretty nice. Going to the creator here. This is kind of where that bullying thing came from the tweet. The value point up to this point, I don't know why I said point twice, is the ability to automatically add timestamps or add timestamps to your video by simply clicking one button. But during the process of stage one or version one, this would automatically push a comment to your video. Now I've given the user the discretion whether they want this comment to happen or not. Therefore, a user could process, get timestamps and just copy to their clipboard and add it to the description if they choose to do so. I think this is fundamental. This is giving the ability for a user to have comment or not could be a breaking point whether a user converts on this service or not. That being said, you'll remember this from version one. This is where the brand template now exists, right? So we have it nice and compartmentalized and basically I have it here where I'm already, I'm good to go. Now I have it so that the comments are on. So every time I process a video, it will auto, com it will auto comment on my YouTube video with the timestamps and also have my relevant information that I put in personally. Perfect. If I didn't want it to do that, I'll just switch that off. But for now, I'm gonna keep it on. Then we got timestamps here. This is what I'm talking about, future thinking, future design. I plan on adding more to the settings here. I plan on adding more capabilities to timestamps here. And you'll even notice subtitles. There's a ton of stuff coming and even beyond that. So knowing all that, let's go ahead and just connect our YouTube account. Hit connect. Okay, we're in. We are in. This is what's gonna be so amazing about this platform. Oh, Corbin, I've heard of timestamp platforms in the past. Oh, Corbin, I've heard of XYZ in the past. Here's the major difference, y'all. One, it's not just gonna be a timestamp platform. I think that's apparently obvious now. But two, this is gonna be one of the most seamless integrations that you'll ever have as a YouTube creator and it's gonna provide value on everything you could possibly think of when it comes to YouTube. What do you mean by that? If you're a YouTuber, there might be pain points that exist to you right now that you don't even realize, or there are pain points that exist and you do realize. Regardless of that, I'm gonna automate all of that and I'm gonna do that with artificial intelligence software. Just give me a little time, all right? That being said though, amazing platform, or sorry, amazing UI. Huge upgrade off of what it originally was. Not a huge upgrade, but enough of, enough of a change where it's like, okay, this is looking good. We got a different timestamp badge. You got the ability to select auto timestamps on and off. Basically, if you upload a new video, you don't even have to come back into the platform and automatically push that comment or automatically generate that timestamp. That being said though, right now, as of now, I have it set. Cause I honestly, I just wanted to get this update out cause I, I have a ton of my plate right now. There's other stuff I have to do elsewhere in the company, but I knew I needed to get this UI update out because actually we're getting a good amount of users now. Um, not a good amount of users. Actually, I don't know, maybe. We're at 115, so let me know if you've used this platform. And if you have used this platform before this update, use it again and I bet you'll have a better experience. But that's, that being said, right now, it just adds timestamps. Perfect, great, kumbaya. I plan on making the UI when it comes to actually the, the value you can get out of a video to be a lot different. But right now, it adds timestamps, which is relevant. As you see, it'll be processing, and then we'll get a nice little green little pencil, and we can see it in the front end. Okay, so we got that green little check mark that tells us it is done processing. I also wanna point out, y'all, this is still in beta, so there might be some hiccups here and there. Basically, we got two options now. In theory, if I didn't enable auto comment, we can go ahead and just copy them directly to our clipboard, but alternatively, I did, so we can go to view the video. And coming down here, as you see, or behind my head, boom, we got our timestamps relevant to the video, automatically made with artificial intelligence and automation. Furthermore, if I go ahead and copy to the clipboard, I can come over to Twitter, hit paste, and we got it to our clipboard. That is being said, that finishes up the, and wraps up, so far up to this point, the new user interface of TubeStamp. Here's what I've learned. 
less words, more images in the context of icons. And basically, if you're under the preference or under the reference that like maybe I need to add an extra word, try to speak. It's almost like doing thumbnails for YouTube. If you notice the best performing thumbnails typically have a limited amount of text, just like the best performing presentation slides usually have a limited amount of text as well. That being said, as you'll notice, like for example, connected, this used to say connect to YouTube. And then once it was connected to YouTube, it'd be like connected to YouTube. Like I have YouTube in there, slashed it out. And now we just have the icon of YouTube and connect and connected. That might change in the future as well. That being said, less is definitely more in the context of design, whether it's website development or anything. That's what I've realized a lot when it comes to business. A lot of times you don't need to communicate as much as you think you do in the context of what you're presenting. Well, that just about wraps it up. If you like this kind of kind of video and this style of video, make sure to leave a like. Let us know you like this kind of content. Now, if this really scratched a part of your brain, you're like, hold up. I actually want to look more into artificial intelligence and building out software. Check out the playlist that actually is going to appear right now because I'm editing. Or I'm in the process of editing the end screen here. So the end screen is probably happening right now. But that playlist right there is going over from starting a software from scratch. Everything that I thought of, everything that I went through personally. Make sure you subscribe and see the journey here, y'all. This is going to be a crazy journey. This is just the beginning, y'all. This is 2024, beginning of 2024. My full-on attention with this software is to sell it. And then if I sell this software, or maybe I don't even sell it. We'll see what happens. Maybe I just keep running it. But long term, if there is some type of buyout event, I'll walk you through the process then as well. You're going to get a full-on perspective of building out a software from start to finish, maybe even to the point of sale. I'll see you in the next video.